What's up guys, Austin Nurcho here, continuing on with our SDCC 2018 Hasbro exclusive sets. And this time we have the Star Wars Black Series Han Solo with Minoc. And I forget what the thing is called, it says it somewhere on here. As you can see though, we'll look at the box real quick. It's supposed to look like uh, the Millennium Falcon on the top, so you can see, you know that. And then you can really see the parts there going on. Then on this side we have Han Solo, so it's Han Solo with a mask on. And I swear it says somewhere on the box here what it is. Oh, here it is on the back here. There it says Star Wars Black Series Han Solo Exagorth Escape. I did not know that's what the thing was called at all. But of course, it's supposed to be when they're inside of the worm on the asteroid. And then, you know, they're outside the ship and stuff is what this is supposed to be. So we'll read this at the very end. But let's go ahead and look at it here. So this is kind of a cool box. So it's got the two separate parts. So you just kind of pull them apart to separate it. And there you can see the Han Solo. And if you can keep pulling, there you see the Minoc there in the background. So obviously it's supposed to be, you know, like the landing gears of the Millennium Falcon going on here. And there, there you can kind of see there. It's hard to see with the glare. But there's a ramp, the ramp in the background. This is all cardboard, obviously. And he's supposed to be coming down. So he's got the mask on, which we'll look at all that detail and stuff. Then we've got the Minoc over here in the back. Like it's supposed to be flying around, you know, sucking on the power cable stuff. But the weird thing about this box is that you pull it open like this. And it kind of like has like a some sort of mechanism like spring or something because it kind of like always wants to spring back in so that's kind of weird but let's go ahead and open this and look at the figures inside and so it is out of the box now so let's take a look at the han solo here i think this looks just super cool so here we have his look of course this is i guess as i don't know like all the details about this but some stuff doesn't seem right to me but you know i don't know all the exact detail stuff but this is supposed to be you know the outfit they had on after leaving uh hoth and so obviously he doesn't have the big giant like fur coat or coat with the fur on it and stuff that he wore to go out into the snow and stuff but he's got the same sort of outfit he was wearing but let's take a look up close so there of course we got his head and we can go ahead and take i guess this mask off so he has the um air mask so obviously they can breathe because they don't know if the air is you know toxic or anything going out of the Millennium Falcon into the space slug so we'll just take that off of his head so there's the mask there you obviously just have this um, like rubber band type thing that you put it around his face to help hold it on but it's got the face mask part there then a tube that goes down into like I believe the breathing apparatus and then use that to just clip it onto his coat there like that and so here's a look at his face and I think this looks pretty good face wise I think that you know it does look like Harrison Ford and everything I like the hair sculpt and everything that they did I think it just looks really good and I really enjoy that then go down so he's got a dark blue like grayish mixture of a coat going on here so he's got this uh, coat jacket on as you, you can see goes down the sleeves and everything and it's pretty much just like a vest on the actual outfit or figure but you know it's an actor it's supposed to be his coat and stuff but it allows for a range of movements and everything which of course these have good movements and everything so that's pretty cool going on there then underneath we got his white shirt of course i don't know what you call these kind of shirts but a lot of the star wars people wear it but you know it's got the piece that you know can come over here and like close up but they he usually has it open so it's got the like hanging or like open part there and stuff and i really like that then go down so we've got his pants and so usually he's wearing black pants with or like a blackish color pants with this stripe but this time they're brown like I don't know if you can see that but they are brown pants and so that's what's kind of weird or different like I said he could just be wearing them and just likes the design with this stripe on it and stuff but um I just I don't know it's just funny to me that they're brown because I never knew to or noticed that they were brown in the movie or anything but then going on so he has a belt there then he has his um like I guess holster belt so he's got this part on it's got a belt book there then he's got some stuff on the side here whatever a little like canister type thing is then coming down off of it, he's got this um the, of course the holster coming down like a pouch thing and he's got his gun in it so it has this part you can it like snaps in there and it was kind of hard to get out but you can un like buckle it or whatever and pull his gun out and he's got his classic gun again i don't know what the name of it or anything is but the gun there that you can obviously place in his hand which i will be placing his hand but not right now for this video and then you can just stick it back in if this part doesn't get in the way there so he's got that of course it's got the parts that come down there and then that wraps around the leg to help hold it um so it doesn't you know flop around or anything when he's running and everything then he's got the brown pants like i said with the yellow stripe then he's got his tall black boots on that a lot of star wars characters wear the tall leather boots and then they're black and i like the details and design they put into it, it almost looks you know 
like real leather almost like the detail especially up in here going down here maybe not so much because usually this would be like tighter but up in there it looks you know like worn leather and stuff so that's pretty cool that they did that and everything um other than that he doesn't have anything else going on with him um but obviously you know accessories he's got his gun here the face mask with the breather and then he does come with a stick as well, which I don't remember the stick at all, but I assume it's just kind of going to be like an electric prod type thing that he's going to use to, you know, hit the Minoc off of the Millennium Falcon stuff. So you just place it in his hand and he can just, you know, hit it or stun it or do whatever just to get him off of the ship and stuff. And so that's pretty cool. I really like this figure. I think this is my first Black Series Han Solo figure. So that's pretty cool that I got this, you know, it was in stock on the Hasbro shop on the day they went out and stuff. I probably wanted got it otherwise but it was in stock and stuff and the price wasn't bad so I was like I might as well just go and pick it up it's an exclusive and it's a black series figure of one I don't have and I thought it looked cool and stuff you know I like this outfit a lot on Han and stuff so that's going to be it for the solo so we will now move on to the Minoc that comes with it of course it's the whole set I wish um they would have had more like stuff you know like part of the worm or uh the falcon or something you could have you know kind of like this display set um, but anyways, we've got the Minoc here, which is just, you know, like a bat type figure. And again, it likes to attach to the Millennium Falcon and suck on the power cables and drain energy out of the Millennium Falcon. But here is an up closer look. It's hard to, you know, get an up close look. But there's a look at its sucker there. So it's got the mouse sucker with like, you know, <laughs> looks like a mop head or something. Like the weird mop head, you know, like uh, attached to it there. It's a suck on and stuff. Then it's got all these what seem to be like little feet or just some. So it may like, you know, like crawl on the ground and stuff or because it may suction. And then all these little legs may move. So it may like, you know, move it up the side of the ship and stuff. Um, so that's kind of cool. But it's, you know, just a weird figure. It comes out to a point as a tail. So unless these are its feet, which I assume they are just by the look, you know, kind of like a uh, worm or something has little feet like that. I assume that's what that's supposed to be, would be its feet there, but I like how it comes out to the point on the tail. Then we've got to look at its eyes there. So it's got like a hammerhead um, type of face, you know, the hammerhead character face going on there with the eyes coming off the side. And then of course, that's like the mouth and head region there. And then the back and the arms coming out with the wings, which I like the wings because it's an all brown figure. So it's, you know, darker brown, lighter brown, lighter brown, and even lighter brown <laughs> color inside there and stuff. I just like all the mixtures of the brown. But I like the wings how you can see through. You can you know you can see my hands through and stuff. So that's really cool. And I like that. So that is pretty cool. I really enjoy this. This is another reason why I really wanted this uh set and everything so that is cool and you can see the scales and everything going on the back there so that is awesome so that's going to be it for this Han Solo and Minoc SDCC 2018 exclu Hasbro exclusive set of course that came with the Han Solo from I forget what they call it again Han Solo Exegorth Escape of course I just call it the space slug on the asteroid but it's him in that sort of outfit with the gas mask and the stun stick and you know he's got his gun and everything and then of course the Minoc that's sucking on the power cables on the Millennium Falcon so I hope you enjoyed this review of this Hasbro set I thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos and we'll see you next time